Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier, in great atmospheric 3D. Really makes you feel like you're right there. When Nick Fury is attacked, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, finds himself hunted with few to trust and with a mystery to solve. He does enlist the help of Black Widow, who also badly wants to figure out what exactly is going on. And over the course of it, they will affect each other, Cap being the Boy Scout that he is, and Black Widow being a, a, a spy, double agent kind of person. This has some fantastic action. These set pieces are huge, and the pacing just really keeps things moving. There's never too much or too little action. The characters have room to breathe, and this is one where you really get into the characters. This is one of the movies that benefits the most from the strong continuity of the cinematic Marvel Universe. And it's just, it's an incredible sequel to the first one, and almost as good as Avengers. It's, it's the best of these sequels. The, the Winter Soldier, the titular Winter Soldier, is an amazing antagonist. He is badass every single second he's on screen. He just ruthless, that awesome metal arm of his gets some really good use. And speaking of good use, Falcon introduced in this one, great character, has some great stuff to do, and the stuff they do with his wing pack for flying is also great. Everyone has a role in the action scenes, and if it does look like this one is a bit bloated with characters, don't worry, it actually isn't. Somehow they managed to give everything, everyone something to do. The one character that doesn't really need to be there is Emily Van Camp, who I quite like, but yeah, I, I figure most of her good stuff ended up on the cutting room floor, but as it is, she didn't really need to be in this movie, her character. and. That's it, everyone else. They have something to do and they are vital to the overall, to, you know, to the action scene or what have you. The movie very deftly comments on the current, you know, the, the way that privacy and liberty is violated for this supposed you know, supposed security, and yeah, the the yeah, that's that's very nicely commented on in this. I I feared that it would be, you know, very pro-establishment, but no. And I suppose that more or less covers it. Just. An amazing film. The the themes, the characters, the action. This, you know, it's amazing to think this far into the cinematic Marvel universe that you know they're still putting a lot of you know not all of these films have had this much love and effort put into them, but this is one that really has. Everyone who was working on this got it. They knew what they were doing and they they understood excuse me what what they should really do with this to make it work the best. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment and hey if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.